When do you start making your Christmas cards? I like making mine all year, so I have less stress as the holidays near. Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik, and this video is part of my Christmas card countdown series. I am sharing pop-up cards made with, new with the new release of dies from Karen Berniston, as well as new dies from Dies to Die For. My favorite of all the new dies from Karen Berniston is a pop-up snowman. So um, on this card, I just made the front very simple, but as it is with all of Karen Berniston's dies, the magic happens when you open it up. And this adorable snowman pops up. Um, he is very easy to make, and he lays really flat, see? And um, I really like that about him, but he's very dimensional and super cute. Um, now, all the details on all the cards that I'm sharing today will be on my blog, and links are in the description box to the blog post as well as to the products featured. My second card features many new dies from Karen Berniston. This is the street lantern pop-up, but I am used it flat on the front. And um, this is a tiny gnome um, from a new set. Um, and I made it into a caroler because I watched Karen Berniston's video and she showed us how to do that. So um, I don't know if you can see it, but this here says press here. And look what happens when I press. You see that? All those street lanterns light up. The um, I use the Easy Lights from Pear Blossom Press. And I just love that that does that. But then look what happens when the card is opened. More tiny gnomes um, pop up. And they are on a pop-up garden bench. And then this is that street lantern and that is popped up as well. So let's see if I can show you from here. The, um, there's a very simple little attachment that you put in and that makes the street lantern um, pop up. And I said you're a friend like gnome others. And aren't these guys adorable? And they're on a pop-up bench. And of course that garden bench could be used anytime, but I just really wanted to use it. Uh, for my Christmas card countdown series. Um, this is the sweet card I'm going to show you how to make. Um, the candy canes and the peppermint on the front here are with uh, new dies from Dies to Die For. And um, I also used an ornament die from Gina Marie Designs um, for the O and with that peppermint. So um, I just think that's adorable just the way that is. But of course, you know the best thing's happening when we open it. So um, this sweet, sweet snowman stands up. He has candy canes and a peppermint on his hat. And this is Sweet Holiday Wishes um, with some gumdrops and just some designer paper that matched perfectly. Um, the words and the gumdrops are from Dies to Die For. And of course, the snowman is from uh, Karen Berniston. And I'm going to show you how to make that card. So I have all the pieces cut. Let me just quickly show you the die sets here. Um, this is the candy die set from the September release. And you get, you know, the candy canes and the gumdrops and then suckers and other uh, candies that you can use for your cards. And then this is a set that's called Sweet Words. And so it has sweet and it has yours so sweet and other words um, all with layers. And um, that's what I used here. And then um, this is the Joy um, Ornament die set from Gina Marie Designs that I made the, the card front with. And then um, this is a new one from Karen Berniston. It's called Gingerbread Tiny House Add-ons. And I use the little peppermints and the little candy canes from that um, set. And then this is my favorite of the new sets um, that just came out. And it is that Snowman Pop-Up. Now, of course, um, I'll show you how I made mine, but you're going to want to watch Karen Berniston's videos. They're the best. Obviously, she's the expert instructionals is how to put these dies 
together. Um, but this is um, the die um, set that I am using uh, primarily. And I've cut out all the pieces, um, but I'm going to just show you. This is the, one of the main pieces, and you're going to cut that out to make the snowman. And then you're going to cut two of the, these circle uh, sets, and I'm going to show you how to use that. And then this is the face die, and again, that's um, I did it out of sparkly white. And then this is the, the piece that you're going to attach it with. And then, of course, there's um, dies for the scarves and the hat and um, the the uh, scarf and the arms and the nose and then um, some buttons and a snowflake and shoes if you decide to use it so these are all the dies I have already cut um, so there's a lot of pieces um, but still it doesn't take too long if you see me fumbling at all it's simply because um, I have some arthritis in my hands and I have had this badly broken wrist for years but it really is a relatively easy um, die set to put together. So um, I've done a few of the preliminary things. Um, you cut out the hat and um, that just slides together. Um, I put the little scarf on and um, I you just put it together with that little piece there. And then this is the face piece and um, you want the nose to be coming off to the right so um, that again has that little tab that you put together so um, we're going to start with the nose or the, you know the carrot okay so um, we just want the nose to come off of this little tab here that's gone through that um, opening Sure. Just need to get my glue started here. You're going to want a good strong glue with a uh, fine tip for a lot of this. So uh, I like my Barely Art Precision Craft glue. And we're just going to set that on that tab and hold it in place for a second until it sets up and then um, while that's setting up um, this is the hat piece and we're going to attach that to this um, and I like to use um, glue dots for that And each of these pieces have to bend in the middle. So you can see that they uh, can be f flat, but then they also bend. And we're going to continue that. Um, the, hat, the face also has to bend. But we're going to put the hat on the top where those pieces line up together. Whoops. So you can see that the hat and the face are going to bend um, on there when the, when the snowman lays flat. And then we're going to, um, you can use a snowflake in this on the hat if you like, but I wanted to continue the candy theme. So once again, there's this tiny little tab that's sticking out from the hat. And we're going to put some glue on that. And then I decided to put the peppermint on there. And get that to set up. And then um, I have die cut out some um, tiny black pieces um, and I'm going to use my pick and put the eyes on with some glue
and then some little mouth pieces. So um, we want two over here to make him smile. And then two I think I have a little more glue there. And get those. To set up in the glue. All right, um, and then we have the two main snowman pieces. Now you can see one has a notch in it and one doesn't, and um, so the scarf obviously one doesn't have a notch, you know, a the hole in it, and one does. So there's two pieces that go here and one piece that go here. And um, we are going to hold it so these notches here are facing each other. They're insides towards each other. And we've attached the scarf. And so now we can slide this through. And then you just kind of maneuver it a little bit till the top piece connects. So you could see that that was um, very easy to do. Now this is the base piece. And um, Karen advises us to bend up and then down on each of the score lines. And so we are forming a kind of a circle piece somewhat. And um, I'm going to use a glue dot to hold this together because those are really good and strong. And then we lay it flat. Now I have prepared the card base um, with all those dies that I showed you. This, the Candy Cane Joy and the Peppermint are from Dies to Die For. And um, put it on layered uh, white on red. And that's um, ready to go. And then on the inside I have that strip of designer paper which was just perfect for this card. And sweet holiday wishes. I did want to mention that tiny little uh, uh, peppermint there and that tiny little candy cane are from Maker Forte. Um, she has some really cool uh, embellishments that are perfect for the holidays. So I had them and I'm like, I just have to use them in this card. So... Um, I have put score tape on these tabs here and um, we're going to attach one here now of course you can use glue um, instead of glue dots and score tape but I, I like to use those I don't like having to wait all the time to have things set up but if I, um, I also like my glue. So it just depends on, on what you prefer, um, what to use. So now we're removing that and we're going to close this on top of that. And our base is there to attach the snowman to. So you're going to take this um, piece and you can see there are notches here on the bottom on the front and this is the front with us with the scarf here and we're simply going to take these and slide them in and I I know that's going to be hard to show you I'm going to have to do it and then show you what I did okay so um, 
there's no way to hold that up while I'm doing that but it's not hard so um, can you see that those little notches just went right into that and now we're going to do the back and do the same there um, just take those little notches and slide them in and then once they're in there this will now close and open and stay in place it's jiggly but that's okay um, it's um, that's the way it's meant to be so um, now we're going to we have four uh, circles that have notches you know down the center and also here and those are going to form the body and you're going to put um, each of them on the see the notches in here and here so we're going to slide this in and then we're going to just maneuver it a little bit until the top snaps in place so it's that easy to do and we're going to do it on all four sides so you start and you slide it in the bottom notch and then you maneuver the top one just a little until it snaps in place and um, once again sliding the bottom in the bottom notch and then pull on the top one a little bit until it kind of snaps in place okay so those are in now we are going to attach these to each other with those slots there uh, again I can't really do it too well to show you but I'll show you the result and again if, if it seems like it's fussy it really isn't too bad um, it, it takes a little bit um, of practice um, but it's not bad and I'm just gonna it just takes a little maneuvering you just this one And again, it's just my um, hands sometimes don't want to um, work too well, but um, I think it's well worth it. In the end, you have a really cool snowman. So I'm going to work with those and come right back. So those were not hard to do. It's just a matter of, of maneuvering them until those slots fit together. So now the body of the snowman is done. And again, you can see that it opens and closes easily. Um, and um, I also went ahead to save a little time and added my gumdrops. Um, those are from Dice to Die For. And they really do look like candy because I use glitter paper. And um, I added uh, the scarf. Now the scarf pieces are about the only ones that I found that I could put like a, a uh, easy cut adhesive behind it. Um, everything else kind of has to be maneuvered and, and open. Um, the little dots could be, but I had such a hard time um, getting it off those tiny little uh, buttons and face features that I did end up using glue as I showed you. So um, now I'm going to attach the face. And once again, we're doing a little bit of maneuvering to get them um, you start with the bottom and then you uh, maneuver it a little bit and once you get it in there and then you maneuver it so that the top um, attaches so um, once again you just slide it in that um, notch from the bottom and then pull on the top a little bit until it snaps in place and you can see that our snowman face with the uh, the hat and everything that collapses as you close is now easily attached. Um, I have uh, the two arms and um, those will slide in here and attach um, and um, I let me see I think I want them on there, so I'm going to put my micro glue dots on. Is 
that on the front or on the back? It's on the front. Okay. So I'm going to just slide them in here and push down. And then this one's going to go in there. And slide it in that little notch there. And then push it down. And then I liked the idea that he has a candy cane um, in each hand, each arm. Um, and I just want to hang that. Let's see. So we'll put a little glow here. And maybe a little here. <clears throat> and get that to set up. And then the same over here. So a little, whoops, glue here. And Those tiny little pieces. Sometimes they don't want to work with my hands there, but so our very very sweet uh, can uh, snowman is done. Um, he has candy canes and a peppermint on his hat, and more peppermints in the card with sweet holiday wishes. So we can close it up. Um, they see the candy joy on the front um, with a tiny little candy cane there. And then when we open it up, he pops up. And you can see that that was not at all hard to make. It lies flat to mail and then opens up. So dang cute. I had great fun making these pop-up holiday cards for special people in my life, and I hope they inspire you to give some of these ideas and products a try. Thanks for watching, sharing, and subscribing, and thanks too for helping me share the joy of creativity.